Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and The Sims Freeplay Snow Problem Quest. Many thanks as always to EA and FireMonkeys for giving us a special early preview to share with you guys. This quest is for the 2017 year-end holidays and we're told by the game developers that it will last from December 12th to December 24th. If you're watching this video after those dates, you have missed the quest, and unfortunately we don't know whether the quest or the prizes will be brought back to the game. There are also going to be a few other limited time events in the 2017 year-end update, so please check the video description below for links to other videos, and also consider subscribing so you can be notified when we've got new videos. Now let's get started on the quest. As you can see, it's a 13-day quest. That sounds really long, but it's normal for these year-end holiday updates, and you'll see that there are lots of individual prizes at different parts of the quest. If you finish the quest within the 13 days, the big limited time prize is a new pre-built house template, the Snow Chalet. We'll take a tour of that in another video. If you don't finish within the 13 days, you won't get the Snow Chalet, but if you hit the different parts of the quest we mentioned, you could still win some of the Snow Chalet furniture and decorations as individual prizes. Alright, so the first task is place a Christmas tree. What? Christmas already? Where did the time go? Better get cracking on that Christmas checklist. First, get the Christmas tree up and trimmed. At a home lot, have the sim put up a Christmas tree, which can be found in the Features tab of the home store. Okay, so we scroll through the Featured tab of the home store, and we have a Christmas tree ready to go for free, which is nice. Untangle lights. Christmas is coming and your sims have proven themselves more than ready for the festive season. Nothing attracts presents like a Christmas tree. Next on the list is unpacking and untangling outdoor Christmas lights. Okay, so that's marked by an X <laughs> here. Untangle lights for one hour. This is one of those rare occasions where the sims task is quicker than it would be in real life. <laughs> Write cards. How did those lights get so tangled? Weren't they carefully packed away last Christmas to prevent this happening? Your sim suspects a nefarious influence. Next on the list is Christmas card writing. Sit on a chair at a table and have a sim write Christmas cards. Write cards for one hour and 50 minutes. By the way guys, we're in the gingerbread house which came from another holiday event from years past, I believe. Post cards. Writing cards is tough on your sim's wrist. Have your sim post the Christmas cards in a letterbox on a home lot. Make sure your letterbox is empty before posting the cards, which means if you have any daily rewards, make sure you collect them. Okay, post cards for four hours. <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed the gingerbread no. mailbox before. That is nice. Place candle. Next on the list is a bit of Christmas mood lighting. At a home lot, have a sim place a Christmas candle on a table or bench top. Christmas candles can also be found in the featured items tab. And we have a set ready to go for free. And we just put them on this coffee table here. Perfect. Place five candy canes. Your sim has laid the groundwork for the perfect Christmas. With the inside prep done, it's time to head outdoors. At a home lot, have a sim place five candy canes. And again, we go to the features tab and we have five free and ready to go. Thanks very much. Doesn't really matter where you place them as long as you place them. Ooh, it's snowing. Wow. It's a nice transition. Build snowman. Those giant candy canes look fantastic. Let's hope they don't attract gigantic children. Wait a moment, is that snow? Do you want to build a snowman? Have a sim build a snowman. X marks the spot. Build a snowman for five minutes. Wow. Hmm. Don't think it's going to be a very big snowman after only five minutes. Yeah, why does posting cards take four <laughs> hours when this takes five minutes? Finish snowman. This snowman building business is harder than it looks. Finish building the snowman. Mm, okay, I bet this is going to be a long one. Yeah. Two. Finish snowman for two hours. But still, in five minutes, they did a pretty good job. Yeah. It's Christmas holiday magic, I guess. She pulls out a carrot. Cute. <laughs> throw snowballs. Snow plus man equals snowman. With the hard work done, have your sim throw snowballs. Have a sim throw snowballs at another sim. Throw snowballs for five hours. Wow. Epic snowball fight. 
By the way guys, while they're getting set up to throw snowballs, I just want to point out at the top left of the screen, there will be a little icon which you can tap to see all the different prizes that you'll get over the 13 days. This is a really cool view. This is the, similar to the view you get for a community event, mm -hmm. but this is actually a cool way of breaking down the quest. So you can see, even if you don't get the snow chalet at the very end, you'll still get a whole bunch of stuff that would otherwise be in the snow chalet. That's cool. And now we have our snowball fighters fighting away. <laughs> oh, the snow went. Go to the park. Your sim is having a blast throwing snowballs. Without warning, the snow turns to rain. Something doesn't seem right. A meteorologist would have an idea. Luckily, there's an upcoming presentation from one at the park. Okay, so we've got to go to the park with the sim. Congratulations, you've completed the first set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received a tasteful spiral chalet sculpture. Hmm. Cool. Looks like a trophy. <laughs> Discuss weather. Your sim arrives at the park. Right, time to speak to the meteorologist about the odd weather. Okay. Oop, we have a little rhyming screen. Christmas is coming. No more Halloween frights, except for untangling Christmas lights. <laughs> Okay, a looks nefarious like green gentleman. Okay. This right here is our meteorologist discuss weather for 15 minutes sitting next to a weather machine. Makes sense. Seems appropriate. <laughs> I like that hair. Call Wizard Wickham. Your sim speaks to the meteorologist who is just as bewildered as your sim. He says the storm cannot be explained by scientific methodology. Could this be mystical machinations? Time to put a call into Wizard Wickham. At a home lot, call Wizard Wickham on a phone. Phones can be found in the electronics tab of the home store. Call Wizard Wickham for 45 minutes. I'm actually kind of surprised that he has a phone. <laughs> well, he has some magic of device that can connect to a phone. Rebuild Snowman. I have grave news about the storm, says Wizard Wickham. It's a supernatural low pressure trough that originates from the Ice Queen's palace. To get to the palace, you will need to speak to her Simtown representative, Mr. Flurry. He's the snowman. But the snowman has melted. Have your Sim rebuild the snowman. Hmm. Rebuilding a snowman in the snow. In the rain. Yeah. Rebuild a snowman for one hour. I like that there's a puddle here so you can see what happened to him. <laughs> Poor Mr. Flurry. Talk to snowman. A banana nose here, some stick arms there. Not a bad job, your sim thinks. Better check that Mr. Flurry the snowman is okay. Ask Mr. Flurry how he is feeling. <laughs> how are you feeling? Five hours and 40 minutes. He okay. looks happy. So cute. Discuss ice palace. Feeling, says Mr. Flurry, a little frostily, I've been licked by dogs and not to mention stamped on by children. Hmm, best move on. Have your sim ask Mr. Flurry about the Ice Palace. Discuss Ice Palace for two hours. Watch Impulse Buy. Get you to the Ice Palace? What do I look like? Some kind of teleportation device? Find some kind of interdimensional travel machine, then I can help you. Looks like your sim is stuck. Best thing to do when stuck? Watch the Impulse Buy channel on TV. I guess to get Christmas shopping done. Okay, over here we have basically just a one-star TV. I'm gonna see how much it costs on this two-star TV. And it's three hours. Impulse Buy. Your sim settles in, credit card at the ready. Suddenly, on screen comes Christmas 2014 discontinued stock, bad luck locomotive, condition very used. This is it. On a phone, have your sim make an impulse buy. Christmas 2014, impulse buy, seven hours. Congratulations, you've completed the second set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received a chalet coffee table and table decoration. Nice. Cool. We'll be showing the prizes probably in our tour of the Snow Chalet, so definitely, like we said, check that video. Read email. Where is the delivery? Your sim is just about to return to the couch when they realize the sales notification comes in the form of an email. Read the email from the Impulse Buy Network on a computer. Okay, another poem time. The ability to rebuild snowmen can come in quite handy, but don't be surprised if they turn out moody and cranky. <laughs> that was an okay. interesting rhyme. Yeah. Okay, so with this computer here, we will read impulse by email for 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And again, it should be shorter if you're using items which have more stars in the home store. Go to the park. Your sim reads the email. Due to local government zoning restrictions, your new item has been delivered to the park. 
Inspect the bad luck locomotive. Your sim arrives a little perplexed. The postal service sure deliver things to the strangest places. Have your sim inspect the bad luck locomotive. Oh, I love oh, this. No. So this was from the Christmas quest in 2014. That's what they say. I when we went to Santa's cottage? Yeah, well, I think not so. Not the Ice Palace, that was 2015, yeah. I think. Santa's cottage, definitely, because I remember this. When I first saw this, being like really impressed by the steampunk art aesthetic of it. Yeah. Like, it's just so beautiful. Study manual. Your sim inspects the bad luck locomotive. Seems like the description was correct. It's not working. Thankfully, there is a manual. On a park bench, have your sim study the manual, the bad luck locomotive in you. Study manual for five hours and 30 minutes. Next to the nanny. <laughs> Hi, nanny. Repair the bad luck locomotive. After reading the manual, your sim feels at one with the locomotive. Plus, they know how to disable the bad luck distributor. Better get to work. Okay. Repair for five minutes. Oh, cool. Quick fix. Check the manual. Your sim gets to work and, after successfully relocating a family of squirrels, their work is complete. Or is it? The locomotive is not starting. On a park bench, have your sim check the manual. Those pesky squirrels. Yeah, you are not a fan of squirrels anymore. Mm -mm. I think they're cute. They keep trying to nibble on the vegetables that I'm growing, so but they I don't hop like them. And leap about in just such a cavalier and cute way. No, in a criminal way. <laughs> Kick locomotive. Thankfully, the manual has a "when all else fails" section. It has a single instruction: kick. <laughs> Makes sense. Kick locomotive <laughs> for four hours and forty minutes. Wow, that's a lot of kicking. Yeah. Get coordinates. The bad luck locomotive fires up. Wow, that never works. Time to get Mr. Flurry the Snowman to give you coordinates to the Ice Palace. Speak to Mr. Flurry the Snowman at a home lot to get the coordinates to the Ice Palace. Get coordinates for 7 hours and 30 minutes. This is a lot of coordinates. Mm -hmm. Go to the park. Your sim approaches the Mr. Flurry. Here are the coordinates, he says. I wish you luck with the Ice Queen. May you chill her frozen heart. <laughs> Your sim is unsure whether Mr. Flurry's words are encouraging or discouraging. Return to the park. So there's a little theme here. We've got a throwback to Christmas 2014, and we have the Ice Queen. Which was 2015? Yeah. Congratulations! You've completed the third set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and earned some rectangular chalet windows. You can never have too many windows and these look really stylish. They look beautiful, yeah. Travel to the Ice Palace. Your sim recalibrates the karmic converter. Time to put the bad luck locomotive to the test. Have the bad luck locomotive take your sim to the Ice Palace. Ooh, shopping online is so satisfying, but waiting for post is emotionally tiring. <laughs> These approximate rhymes are pretty cute. Okay, go to the Ice Palace just by tapping on the locomotive. Yay, we're back! What's going on? With a locomotive instructing you fasten seatbelts for final descent, your sim arrives at the Ice Palace. What is that machine? And it sure doesn't look like it's operating to manufacturer's specifications. Better find out what's going on. Have your sim talk to one of the snow sprites. Oh, I love this place. What's going on for one hour? <laughs> Still as beautiful as it was the first time. Where's Jack Frost? Your sim corners one of the snow sprites. It's a snowy catastrophe of arctic proportions, says the panicked snow sprite. And the Ice Queen has locked herself in Jack Frost's quarters. Only she knows what's wrong with the machine. Looks like your sim is going to have to find Jack Frost. Ask the snow sprite about Jack's whereabouts. Wasn't he lost the last time? Yeah, that kid. Where's Jack for four hours? He is really a pesky dude. Find Jack Frost in a cool disguise. Your sim asks the sprite about the elusive Jack. He's hiding somewhere in the Ice Palace, says the sprite. Take note, he has the ability to transform into just about anything. Hmm, have your sim search for Jack. Well, we have a location. Could he be in the fridge? Let's check the fridge for 7 hours and 30 minutes. Or is he hiding as the fridge? I mean, it's kind of like bad if a little kid is stuck inside a fridge, isn't that? Like one Although of the he, things he they is... always warn you about? Ooh. Don't climb into fridges, kids. Well, he's not really a little kid. He is thousands of years old, I think. <laughs> Find Jack Frost in an ironic board disguise. The refrigerator transforms into an icy individual. 
Got me! Jack Frost squeals. I guess you were right. Next disguise won't be so easy. Have your sim search for Jack again. <laughs> oh, I get it. Ironic. Jack? Five minutes. Find Jack Frost in his newsworthy disguise. Your sim pokes at the ironing board and it transforms into Jack Frost. Ah, oh, you won't read about the solution to my next disguise. Have your sim search for Jack Frost again. Ooh, okay. Okay, this time he's disguised as a boy. A, a newsie. <laughs> a newsie, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a two-hour task. Ask Jack for his quarter's key. Sure, the paper boy is everywhere, but the ice palace is just crazy, thinks your sim. How could you possibly know, says Jack. Okay, you're too smart. What can I do for you? Have your sim ask Jack for the key to his quarters. Quarters key for six hours and 20 minutes. Congratulations, you've completed the fourth set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received shapely chalet windows. More windows! Yeah, two sets of windows, that's cool. Collect key. Your sim, having waited patiently for Jack to finish again, asked Jack for the key to his quarters. Oh, that, Jack says. It's under the mat. Have your sim collect the key from under the mat. Trickster, Jack Frost is quite the impersonator, but no one expects ironing boards and refrigerators. <laughs> Okay, it's whoever the poet is. You tried. <laughs> uh, Alright, this is the mat that we're looking for, I guess. Collect key for 10 minutes. Unlock door. Of course the key would be under the mat. Now to unlock the door. Unlock door for 1 hour and 40 minutes. Speak to the Ice Queen. With the door unlocked, it is time to talk to the Ice Queen. Okay, lady. Speak to the Ice Queen for 3 hours and 20 minutes. Offer beverage. Your sim enters the room. What is going on with a frost blaster? It gives me the chills, says the Ice Queen frostily. What the Queen needs is a hot beverage to calm her nerves. Have your sim offer the Queen a hot chocolate. Offer beverage for 7 hours and 30 minutes. Talk to Ice Sprite. Over a hot chocolate, the Ice Queen confesses to your sim. The Frostbuster is being controlled by an outside force. I'm humiliated. How am I ever going to explain this to Jack Frost or the North Wind or him with the hammer? <laughs> if only I had the strength to turn it off. Strength to turn it off? Have your sim talk to an ice sprite. They seem to be the ones with all the information. Mm -hmm. Discuss strength for two minutes. Discuss stopping the Frost Blaster. Your sim asks the sprite to explain the Queen's problem. Oh, that! We need four folks strong enough to simultaneously turn the wheels on the Frost Blaster. Your sim can handle that. Have four sims turn the wheels on the Frost Blaster at the same time. Okay, so we're going to call over four sims. Or three more sims, so that we have four total. And tap on this, turn together one second, and just do it one after the other with all four. Well, I like those multicolored wheels. Task complete. Go to the park. It's not easy, but with gritted teeth, your sims get the wheels turning. Finally, the Frost Blaster comes to a stop. Thank you, says the Snow Queen. My weather-manipulating reputation is restored. Your sim is relieved. Finally, the weather problem is solved. Have your sim use the bad luck locomotive to return to the park. I guess abandoning all the ones who came over to help. <laughs> They'll all come with. Congratulations, you've completed the fifth set of goals and earned some chalet doors gonna be a really nice looking chalet. Yeah. Discuss weather. Wizard Wickham has returned from nature's calling. Have your sim speak to Wizard Wickham about the weather. Nothing is what it seems. Drinking hot chocolate with ice queens. <laughs> is that warning that she's not to be trusted, I wonder? <laughs> Discuss weather for two hours. I mean, it sure looks the same from my perspective. Think of a petty problem. Your sim approaches the wizard. Looks like our villain had a backup plan. To pinpoint the source of this supernatural storm, we will need to create our own miniature storm in a teacup, an argument about nothing. On a park bench, have your sim think of a petty problem. Think of a problem for three hours and 40 minutes. Argue with another sim. It doesn't take long for your sim to think of a lot of petty problems. Now to have a pointless argument. Have your sim argue with another sim. So I guess I will call over one of the ones who didn't come back from the Ice Palace. 
and have them get into an argument together for two hours and 30 minutes. Speak to Wizard Wickham. The Sims get into a heated exchange, by the end of which nothing is resolved. Perfect, thinks your Sim. Hopefully that's enough storm for the wizard. Speak to Wizard Wickham. For 12 hours and 30 minutes. Go to the wacky weather source. Excellent work, says Wizard Wickham. Your miniature storm has revealed the source for this malevolent meteorological manifestation. Here are the coordinates that will take you to its source. Better have a quick look over the bad luck locomotive before travelling to the source of the mysterious weather. Okay. Go to the wacky weather source. Oh, oh broke again. Ouch. Poor thing. The locomotive's chaos distributor has cooled down. Your sim is all set to travel to the source of the wacky weather. Ooh, ooh, congratulations. You've completed the sixth set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received a stylish chandelier and chalet walls. Wow. Nice. Verbal fights without a cause can locate a stormy source. I feel like we needed you to do that in your English <laughs> accent, because otherwise... <laughs> Okay, go to the wacky weather source. Yeah, maybe these rhymes make much more sense if you have an Australian accent. <laughs> Confront owner. Putting the locomotive into two and two-thirds gear, your sim is transported to a snow chalet. This is a place for skiing, not scheming. Have your sim search the chalet and confront its odorous owner. So yeah, you guys can see a small preview of the chalet that we will be getting as our grand wow. prize. And guess what? Even has an upstairs. Huh. And it has a balcony a overlooking. Double high. Yeah. That's wow. really cool, right? Wow. Really cool. Okay. Let's uh, wow. continue with the okay. quest. Confront owner for one minute. We've seen this green person before. <laughs> He's the one reading all these strange poems. <laughs> Persuade Grouch. Huh. Your sim confronts the Grouch. Well, I guess no surprises there. Your sim asks nicely for the Grouch to stop the storm. The Grouch snorts with derision. Christmas is about giving. This is my gift to Simtown. Well, the Grouch seems to have a very selfish grasp of the Christmas spirit. Have your sim choose a method to influence the Grouch to stop the storm. Okay. Choose a method. So, choosing a method, these are 50 shorter. minutes and 50 minutes and 5 hours, so I guess try a shorter one first? Yep. Your sim pleads with the grouch to stop the storm. I've only ever felt the cold stinging touch of the storm and that's what you will feel this Christmas. That really fell flat. Have your sim try again. Hmm. I'm gonna say... Try flatter for 50 minutes. Yeah. I don't know if the Grouch would respond to flattery, but let's go for it. Persuade Grouch, your sim comments on the Grouch's fine dress sense and the damaging effects upon it of rain. The chill of the storm on my skin complements the coldness of my heart, sneers the Grouch. Well, that didn't work. Have your sim try again. Okay, all so right. we have to go through all three of these options. The five hour task is the final one, using greed. Your sim describes the negative effects on property values of long periods of bad weather. Tax right off, snaps the grouch. Epic fail. Have your sim try again. Oh, we've tried everything. Okay, persuade grouch for 12 hours and 30 minutes. <sighs> this better work. Use locomotive. Your sim opens their mouth. They've got nothing left to say. <laughs> your sim is going to need a new plan. Use the bad luck locomotive to return to a home lot. Oh dear. So here's the locomotive. Use it for one second. Congratulations, you've completed the seventh set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and have received some chalet rugs and floors. They look really furry and lovely. Go to a home lot. The locomotive's dimensional distributor is good to go. Have your sim return to a home lot. Okay, poem time. Your sim has argued, cajoled, begged and pleaded. In the Grouch's case, a big stick's what's needed. Find solution. Your sim arrives home extremely upset. Better lie down and try and think of a solution. Have your sim lie on a bench or couch and think of a solution. Here we go. Find solution for 48 seconds. It's a quick lie down. 
compose ho ho hotline email. <laughs> Your sim has it, Santa. Santa is the spirit of Christmas. He will know how to sort out the grouch. In this modern age, have your sim compose an email to Santa's ho ho hotline. Computers can be found in the home store. And here we go. Compose a ho ho hotline email for two hours and 20 minutes. Read a ho ho hotline reply. Bing, new inbox item. Wow, that was quick. If only all helplines were as efficient as Santa's, have your sim read the reply from Santa's ho ho hotline. Read reply for four minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, I reckon it's just a uh, thank you for your mail. It can take us up to five business days to reply. <laughs> Speak to Mr. Flurry. Thank you for your inquiry, the email reads. Due to the high volume of mail at this time, Santa is unable to action your reply directly. We understand that frustration may lead to naughtiness, but where possible, please continue to be nice. Regards, Santa's helpers. Please quote reference hash 32343326. Your sim is going to need a new plan. Maybe Mr. Flurry knows Santa at a home lot. Speak to the snowman. I love how you predicted that exactly right. <laughs> Speak to Mr. Flurry for 30 minutes. Go to the park. Your sim asks the snowman if he knows a way to reach out to Santa. Hmm, said Mr. Flurry. I do have a buddy in Santa's workshop, elf by the name of Alan. I'll set up a meet with you at the park. Santa access. Your sim arrives at the park and spies a shortish, pointy-eared figure individual. Have your sim speak to Alan about accessing Santa. Where'd he go? There he is. Aww. Santa access for 10 hours and 50 minutes. Ask about requirements. When your sim introduces themselves to Alan, the floodgates open. The elf reveals he is desperate for a break, a holiday, somewhere sunny, the Bahamas. In exchange for holiday, Alan can get you to Santa. Alan also has a number of allergies as well as some dietary requirements to go through. Ask Alan about his requirements. Huh. Okay, for one second. Or a few seconds. Go to a home lot. That was some list Alan gave you. The allergic reaction to all breeds of dogs starting with the letter C was especially concerning. Time to go home and book that holiday. Congratulations! You completed the eighth set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received a chalet dining table and chair set. Nice. And we are a little over halfway through the entire quest. All work and no play makes elves desperate for a holiday getaway. <laughs> Book holiday. Your exhausted sim arrives home. What was it they had to do? That's right. Book a holiday. On a computer, have your sim book a Bahamas holiday. Nice. Book holiday for 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Give reference. Name, Alan. Surname, the elf. Address, <laughs> Santa's workshop, North Pole. Your sim enters all the relevant details and receives the booking reference. Time to speak with Alan. He's basically like holding this vacation as the cost of his help. It's like he's basically saying, please bribe me. Yeah. Give reference for three hours. Go to a home lot. Your sim locates Alan and gives him the holiday booking reference. Okay, I've got something extremely valuable, says Alan. Santa's personal email. Remember, you didn't get it from me. Alan has given you a direct line to Santa. Go to a home lot. Write email to Santa. Your sim sprints home. They are now one email away from Santa. On a computer, write an email. Uh, that would be nice if you could have Santa directly in your email. Yeah, he still probably gets a lot of email from the elves and such. Send email to Santa. Your sim types the email that respectfully requests a little of Santa's time, smiley face emoji times two, to discuss how to get the grouch to turn his bad behavior around. Your sim cracks his knuckles in satisfaction. Surely Santa cannot help but be moved by their compelling message. Have your sim hit send. You didn't hit send? Oh gosh, send wow. for four hours and 30 minutes. I mean, it's always good to reread important emails before you hit send, but <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of proofreading. Speak to visitor. Your sim hits send. Say what? The computer is flashing with all kinds of warnings. Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Your sim hears a knock at the front door. Better go and speak to the visitor. I think the visitor has already made his way into the house, so okay. Ooh. Speak to visitor. 12 hours and 30 minutes. Client liaison elf. Okay. <laughs> Looks just like Alan. 
Congratulations, you've completed the ninth set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received some chalet kitchen bench tops, otherwise known as counters and cabinets, right? Apologize to Elf, your sim settles on an apology strategy that starts with a heartfelt confession, followed by some serious groveling, then finishing with tears for a dramatic conclusion. Right, it's time to hit the Elf with a full apology. Have your sim apologize to the Elf. Ooh. Elves are allergic in immune system folly, but specifically chihuahuas, cocker spaniels, and border collies? <laughs> oh dear. Apologize to Elf for one minute. Placate Elf. Your sim apologizes for using Santa's personal email. Seemingly satisfied, the elf turns to leave, then turns back. We also have an AWOL reindeer, Prancer. I sincerely hope you do not have anything to do with it. Have your sim placate the suspicious elf. Four or five minutes. So we spent thousands of simoleons on booking a Bahamas holiday all for nothing. <laughs> we were had. Scammed. Mm -hmm. Go to the park. Your sim sincerely tells the elf that he has nothing to do with the missing reindeer. The elf accepts your sim story and with one last penetrating stare leaves. The missing reindeer prancer has given your sim an idea, but your sim is going to need wizard Wickham in the park. Speak to Wizard Wickham, your sim arrives at the park, time to speak. Okay, where is he now? Speak to Wizard Wickham for 12 hours and 30 minutes. Return to Homelot. Your sim tells the wizard that they have figured out a way to find the missing reindeer, Prancer. However, it's going to require a night sky. Wizard Wickham agrees, but says it will only last a couple of hours. Quickly, have your sim return to a home lot. Place Lamp. Back at the home lot, Wizard Wickham has delivered a stellar starry sky, now to attract the errant Prancer. Have your sim place and turn on a light in the garden of a home lot. Lights can be found in the lighting tab of the home store. Okay. I'm gonna go for a nice little Christmas lamp. Grow Carrots. Your sim lights the lamps, recreating the perfect reindeer landing configuration. And here's Prancer now. Better feed him so he doesn't fly away. Grow and harvest some carrots in a garden patch. Oh, look, you can see a reindeer. There's Prancer. Oh, cute. Lovely. Okay, we need to harvest the carrots though. That's a five minute task over here. Can you have reindeers as pets for a while? Yeah. I've always been wanting them to add that back into the game, yeah. but yeah. Feed Prancer, you have the carrots. Feed that reindeer. For five minutes. We don't have reindeer, but we do have deer in our backyard occasionally. Yeah, yeah we had a deer chilling out in our backyard. Not as pretty as a reindeer, but still pretty sweet. Email Santa again. Your sim feeds Prancer, who, having received some tasty treats, looks like they will stay in the hope of receiving more. With Prancer secured, have your sim email Santa again. All right, email Santa again for 54 minutes. Maybe now we can blackmail Santa. <laughs> Speak to Elf. Not surprisingly, sending the email to Santa's personal email causes the computer to start flashing red. Your sim hears angry footsteps. Excellent. That will be the Elf. Have your sim speak to the Elf. Speak to Elf for 8 hours and 40 minutes. Check the locomotive in the park. Your sim is again confronted by an angry elf. However, when your sim explains they have the renegade reindeer, the elf is over the moon. In gratitude, the elf gives you the coordinates to Santa's workshop. Have your sim go to the park and check over the locomotive before traveling to Santa's workshop. Nice. I remember really loving Santa's workshop as well. It's a beautiful little location. And let's see, check the locomotive over here for one second. Broken again. I think that's a good sign. Go to Santa's workshop. With the funnel's apocryphal pressure fixed, it's time to ride the bad luck locomotive to Santa's workshop. Oh, okay. Congratulations, you've completed the 10th set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received a chalet oven, stove, and island sink set. Those look beautiful. Whether it's aircraft or reindeers, no matter what kind of flights, all of them need landing lights. It's true. Okay, go to Santa's workshop, yay! 
I love that we're getting to revisit all of these places from previous holiday updates. Speak to an elf about Santa's whereabouts. The locomotive instructing you to raise your seat to an upright position means you've arrived at Santa's workshop. Time to speak to the big man about the grouch. But where is he? Speak to an elf. Okay, speak to an elf. Wear Santa for five minutes. See, it's so pretty. So festive looking. Yeah, and the haystacks and all the presents. Look at that pile of letters. Really puts you in the Christmas mood. Search letter pile. Your sim approaches an extremely busy elf and looks for an appropriate moment to interrupt. Can't talk, constructing, says the elf. Looks like finding Santa is up to your sim. He's a big guy, how hard can it be? That letter pile could hide a burly individual. You think right. Santa's hiding under here? Search letter pile for two hours. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Search sack. Nope, Santa is not buried beneath a pile of lengthy lists. Maybe that sack hides his hefty frame. Search Santa's sack, which is... Oh, over here. But the thing that you tap on is over here. And search that for five minutes. Search chimney. While the depth of the sack is surprising to your sim, Santa is not present. Uh, suddenly your sim hears a muffled, Oh, help! Coming from the chimney. Have your sim investigate the hollering coming from the chimney. I knew it would be the chimney. Did you? You didn't say, I just, though. No, I know I didn't. you didn't say, didn't. then it doesn't count. I said, I said it in my own head. Search chimney for six hours and 30 minutes. Because that's where he goes. He goes down the chimney. I love the portraits above the fireplace. Very sweet. Wait for Santa. Your sim investigates the chimney. Yep, it would appear Santa simply cannot resist the lure of a chimney. Oh, a guest, says Santa. I'll be right down. Have your sim wait on Santa's chair for Santa to extricate himself from the chimney. Tapping on the chair, wait for Santa is 48 minutes. Unfortunately, has he left any cookies for you to nibble on? Yeah, I think Is there so. Cookies? Yeah. yeah. Explain the Grouch's gripe. Santa appears surprisingly clean for a man who has just been up a chimney. Just another one of his many mysteries. What can I do for you? Asks Santa. Have your sim explain the Grouch's pernicious plan to Santa. <laughs> there he is. Explain the gripe for 11 hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Congratulations, you've completed the 11th set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and earned chalet U-shaped couches. These are massive. Discuss the Grouch's plan. So that's it. Your sim has told Santa about the Grouch's weather manipulation machinations. I wish I could help, says Santa, but my new efficiency consultant demands I have a job number. If you could help me get through the backlog, I will be able to help you sooner. Speak to the head elf about the current active job. Wrapped in red tape, forms to ratify, seems these days even Santa has KPIs. <laughs> okay, here's the head elf. For those of you who know what KPIs are, uh, well, you know. Sorry for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Repair present machine. Your sim approaches the elf. Job number 32334 Present machine at 0% productivity. Guess that means the present machine is broken. Have your sim repair the present machine. Interestingly, that was the job number, I think, that we got when we sent our email to the Ho Ho hotline. Hmm. Is this a conspiracy theory you're thinking of? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. What happens if you add up all the numbers from that job number? <laughs> Not gonna say any more. Discuss jobs. What does your sim know about mechanical repairs? Maybe turn it on and off again? How about that? Better see what's next on the elf's job list. Speak to the head elf. Okay, discuss jobs for two hours. I mean, it looks like you got it started again, right? Yeah, it did pretty well. Work shift. Your sim approaches the elf. Job number 32334 Productivity loss due to missing elf, Alan. <gasps> Uh-oh, isn't Alan the elf you sent to the Bahamas? At a present construction bench, have your sim work Alan's shift. What a scammer Alan is. We got him a trip to the Bahamas and now we're having to work for him as well. If I ever see Alan again, he's on the naughty list, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Discuss jobs. Wow, that was tough. Your sim is in awe of the elf's work ethic, apart from Alan. Time to speak to the head elf about the next job. Discuss jobs for five minutes. Discuss grouch. 
Hmm, says the head elf. Job number 32334325, resolve wacky weather inquiry. You have authorization to speak to Mr. Claus. Speak to the Santa about the grouch. Discuss grouch for 20 minutes. Speak to elf. You'll see him tell Santa of the grouch's stubborn refusal to change the weather. Santa lets out a deep, rumbling laugh. It's simple, he says. Christmas is about giving. Display this spirit to the grouch and there will be no way he can continue his belligerent behaviour. Your sim knows just the solution. Presents. Better speak to the head elf. Again? Alrighty. Speak to the head elf for one hour and 40 minutes. Collect present. Your sim speaks to the head elf about obtaining a couple of presents. Do you have a reference? The elf pauses. Oh, go on, he says. Collect a present from the present machine. It's nice that the head elf has got this spirit of giving suddenly. <laughs> I think he probably just wants to be rid of us. Yeah, we keep pestering him. Collect present. That's one down. Have your sim collect another present from the source's mouth. The present machine. Okay, the other one took five minutes, and this one takes ten hours and fifty minutes. Wow. Go to the chalet. Well, that was a super hard choice, but your sim believes they have selected two presents that will appeal to the Grouch. Time to visit the Grouch. Take the bad luck locomotive back to the Grouch's chalet. Please don't break on us. Congratulations! You've completed the 12th set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and received the chalet bedroom sets comprising a king-size bed, bedside table, and roof lamp. That's gorgeous! <sighs> king-size bed! I wonder how many squares that takes up. Four! <laughs> Probably only three. Go to the chalet. Ambivalence problem solved. Time to travel to the Grouch's chalet. Have your sim travel in the bad luck locomotive. The spirit of Christmas is easily lost with the lure of presents and retail costs. <laughs> okay, go to the chalet. Give present. Although running short on unleaded temporal fuel, your sim arrives at the chalet. Time to introduce the grouch into the spirit of giving. Have your sim give a present to the grouch. Where are you, buddy? Okay, give a present for one minute. What's he doing sneaking around his own house? Right? Maybe he's not actually the owner. Ooh, he's squatting. Mm. Give another present. Your sim hands over the present, but in return receives a sneer. Pfft, a unidirectional object transaction is not going to change my mind. Lucky your sim has a backup. Have your sim give another present to the grouch. Give another present for six hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Hug Grouch. Your sim passes a second present to the Grouch. An overwhelming display of selfless generosity. That is unexpected, but I will not be tricked. It hasn't worked. Your sim is out of presents. What to do? That poor cold Grouch. Perhaps, like the Snow Queen, he needs something warm. Have your sim give the Grouch a warm hug. Hug Grouch for one hour and 30 minutes. So even though we spent all that time carefully selecting presents, really, just what he wants is a hug? Well, maybe it's just the straw that's going to break this camel's back. <laughs> he doesn't look that thrilled to be receiving it, but we'll see how it goes. Speak to Grouch. Your sim steps forward and delivers a big, warm hug. The Grouch is stiff as a board, then there's a sniffle, suddenly he takes off. What's going on? Have your sim cautiously approach and speak to the grouch. Oh, we've opened the floodgates. Uh oh, speak for 14 hours and 10 minutes. Massive therapy session. I was just thinking that. <laughs> that Friends episode with Bruce Willis. <laughs> Ooh. Leave chalet. Your sim cautiously approaches. As they near, the grouch stands up. Nobody has ever given me such a warm present. You're too good to me. I. I've got a present for you, he bawls. Here is the key and land deed. My chalet, it's yours. Well, that was unexpected. It seems the gift the Grouch really needed does not come gift wrapped in a box. Time for your sim to leave the chalet in the locomotive and their new friend, the Grouch. Oh, so sad. Finally teaching him the spirit of Christmas, but he's just like, all I can do is give you my house. <laughs> <laughs> and he's fixed the weather. Yeah, that is nice actually. But then he's given us the house, but now we're leaving the house. Yeah. Weird. 
Congratulations! In teaching the Grouch the spirit of Christmas, you have gained access to the Snow Chalet. Build it on any empty house lot. We'll do that in another video, like we said, and we'll give you a sort of detailed tour of what we have won throughout this whole quest. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this walkthrough of the snow problem quest for the 2017 Sims Free Play end of year update. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And like we said, check our video description below for links to other videos from this update. And also, if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play on the way. Thanks for watching.